We were talking, right? I barely do this. I usually do voiceovers, but here we're here. We are, we are here for it. We're gonna, we're gonna do this. So first, I'm just gonna start by putting my hair back. My hair is needs a wash, like bad. Anyways, <clears throat> so the first thing that I'm gonna start with is my Cetaphil moisturizing lotion. It's for all skin types. The person that put me onto this moisturizer, I think it was Nikki Tutorials. Like, she used to rave about this. She also does a lot of reviews, which I love. And she's just so creative. She's very creative in her element. Yep, and we're just gonna put that all over our face. Okay, so I did my brows and set my eyes, well, my lids, off camera. Just because I know if I start talking about stuff, I won't stop. So I'm just trying to stay focused. So I'm using the Live Glam Confessions of a Nudist on my eyes. I'm sorry, it is raining really bad. So that's probably why you guys hear the background noise. So I'm just letting you guys know in advance. But it looks like this. I love neutrals. I am such a neutral person. But I'm gonna just start doing my eyes. So I'm just gonna do a voiceover for my eyes. And for having my makeup. Just so I could kind of speed this up a little more. Um, so I started using um, birthday suit all over my, my basically my whole crease um just to give it more of like transition color and starting with my neutrals as always and then after that I went with a darker um dark chocolate brown eyeshadow which is called silhouette just to give it a little bit more of like a smoky eye that's the look that we're going for so I'm going to use my benefit the poor professional primer so I usually just use this primer in my nose area. And what is this? In my cheek area as well. Just because I want the makeup to last. We need to look extra snatch. Alright, so the next product that I'm using is my Double Wear Stay in Place makeup. I use and I use the color cashew. This foundation I love for a few reasons. One, it has coverage. Second is a matte finish. And third, it lasts a freaking day. Like, I could be sweaty and my makeup will move. And sometimes we need that for a special occasion. So, I love using this foundation. And a little bit goes a long way. I don't even have to use more than this. And, yeah, I'll be good. Also, the uh, beauty blender that I'm currently using, I've been using it actually now for, I think, a few, quite a few weeks. Um, This one is by... CVS Beauty. I love this sponge because I feel like it's bigger than my, the regular sponge that I use and it just makes the makeup apply so much better because it's bigger so it, I guess it holds like more of the product while I'm placing it all over my face. 
so you guys should really check it out. It's by CVS, by the way. And I'm using my um, eyelash curler. Um, the reason why I'm doing this is because I still have like one or two, three lashes for when I did my eyelash extensions. Uh, so now the fun time. So I'm creating my cut crease um, in my lid. Of course, I use a smaller brush just to just want to be a little more defined. And then I blend that all in with the concealer after I get the satisfied cut crease that I really want. Um, after that, I'm going to start placing my shadow and I'm using the color New Bit. B B new bitch, new bitch. I don't even know how to say this. Um, but anyways, you guys get the gesture. It's just like this bronzy shimmer. Just to make the eyes pop. And I'm placing it with my finger. I feel like when you place it with your finger instead of the brush, it melts better. But I did go in and use a little bit more of the brush to make it to place it better. And then I'm using um, a liquid eyeliner. So I don't know the brand name for this specific eyeliner because it kind of rubbed off. So I'm just using this really black eyeliner um, just to define more of the crease and also my eyes. And I'm trying to do the liner very thin, not too thick because I feel like it closes my eyes when I do my liner too small. I mean too um to define okay so now i'm going to use my mac um color s's it's called full sleeve it's a nude <clears throat> always wearing nudes nothing new um i'm using the tarte shaded concealer and light medium and i'm just going over with a small sponge just to define my um, shadow and also give me a little more coverage because I look a little bit tired underneath these bags. So we just gotta, you know, cover all that up. So I feel like my eyes need a little bit more of like a smoky, smoky effect. So I'm going to do just like a little bit more. Just to give it that little drama. So I'm going to use my Huda Beauty contour. Um, so in the color like this is a little beat up. I need to get a new one, obviously. It's, it's time I have one. So now that I am contouring myself, I just realized I don't think she makes this anymore, which makes me really, really sad because I feel like I have such a hard time finding a good contour that doesn't look like too orange or just not right on me. So RIP to this cream contour, but I'll try to find something similar. And I'm using the same sponge that I use for my foundation as contour because why not? And I'm going in a little bit more with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer just to highlight certain areas. I want to just do another layer of concealer just because I feel like I just need to like brighten up that area a little bit more. And I did put a little bit in my nose as well and my chin area. And I'm using a different sponge, which is a smaller sponge because I just kind of feel like it makes... um makes such a big difference when you're able to get underneath the lash line and just like smaller areas just to brighten up the area as well 
and I'm just setting my under eyes and mostly where every, everywhere where I highlight it. And I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Powder just to set everything so we can look snatch. <coughs> now I'm gonna go with my Studio Fix um, powder in the color C3. Um, now that I set all my powder and all my loose powder as well, I'm going to go in and use my bronze goddess um, bronzer in medium. I love this bronzer just because it's not, I don't feel like it's too light, but it's not also too dark, if that makes sense. I just feel like it gives me the perfect bronze. And it has like a little bit of like sparkles in it, so it makes me look a little bit dewy too, which I like and I love. Now I'm going to use my e.l.f. blush palette. I'm not into blush. Recently started being into blush all of a sudden. Like, who am I? So I'm going to use this color right here. Super hot pink. Let's try it out. It's so crazy how I'm starting to wear blush before I used to really hate it. Well, not hate it, more like dislike it. So I'm just, if my younger self would know this, she would be like, uh, nope, you are lying. But here we are. Um, so next I'm using just like a darker shadow, um, just to really define my lower lash and have it more of like a smoky effect before I do mascara for this look and after we are done just placing that shadow I'm gonna use my amazing highlighter and just really define my inner corner my nose my cupid's bow and just highlight highlight this girl up um, after we are done with that I wanted to really define more the um, shadow so I went with a smaller brush to really define the cut crease and just to give it more definition to the look. Just to make the eyes pop. And after that, we're going to... I'm going to be using the Kylie Jenner, um, my lipstick. It comes with a lip liner as well in Kylie 808. To use this buxom lip liner. It's a pink lip liner. And then I'm like debating. Ooh, the lipstick almost fell literally on my robe as I was opening, so that was fun. Um, I don't know if I should do this color by Kylie. It's 808. This one's really pretty. Let me just do it. I could always mix it. Yeah, I could always mix it and tone it down just a bit. Okay guys, so this is the final. Super cute. The earrings are a little much, but they fit for the photos that I'm taking. 
so yeah so i wanted to do more of a smoky eye with a little bit of like a cut crease halfway and just a little color i usually just just do like a lot of neutrals when it comes to lips so i just want to switch it up today so i hope that you guys enjoy this video and i'll see you guys in my next one bye <laughs> I won't make it easy for you now You got two minutes of my time And I don't really break too easily But I'm worth it Cause I'll slip into your dreams tonight Oh, oh, oh. So give me, so give me your all I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars Oh, I'll stick like glue inside your mind Oh, oh, oh. So give me, so give me your all I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars Oh, I'll stick like glue inside your mind Just watch me Don't you try to call me tomorrow